Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Nice. Um, good evening. Welcome. I guess you can hear me. Uh, appreciate that you are on time and also um, <clears throat> that you have your cameras, right? Uh, please uh, double check that you have full name in the in the Zoom app. And this one's remember are the last date, so we need to make sure that we have the attendance, right? That we have like the, the track, right? The track for the attendance. Jennifer Arevalo, uh, try to complete your name, please. And uh, let's start. Okay, so today it's Almost, it's not the last one, right? So today is Wednesday, so tomorrow is the last day. My goodness, imagine. So time flies really fast, right? Because like a few days ago, we were like in the very first day and we were like talking about what we will do and tomorrow is the last one, okay? So we have to cover the last activities, the last parts that we have in the, in the manual and continue, right, with the uh practice so um let's see we are 21 uh 21 participants and let's see um anna maricela tell us uh what is uh today date anna maricela yeah. Today is Wednesday 12, uh, July 2022. Okay, I'm sorry. Nice. Okay. Uh, very good. Very nice. Yeah, today is uh, Wednesday, right? Today is Wednesday. Um, July the 12th, right? July the 12th, 2023. Okay, very good. Let's see, Lenin Hernandez, nice to see your camera. Uh, tell us how you feel today. Mm, fine, teacher, fine, thank you. Okay, very nice, okay, nice. Um, let's see, Maria Magdalena, what about you? How you feel? So we are about to finish the course. Uh, tired, Miss. <laughs> was uh, I went to do several for observe 
of the new way to prepare the force. <laughs> okay, so you mean that you, you are thinking about the next course, right? To be prepared for the next course. Uh -huh, yes, teacher. Okay, very, very nice. Uh huh. Very nice, and that is good. Okay, so you have to be, you need to be thinking about, um, you need to be like thinking about continue with the process, right? Do not give up. Do not say no. I'm going to stop, or no. I'm going to, um, forget about the English classes. No, right? So, <coughs> sorry. You have to be very positive. You have to be very, um, you know with the idea of getting better okay even though if you have some difficulties if you consider that you have many uh issues or problems with your language okay right now with english but be positive okay be positive you are doing great you are in the correct road you just have to be you know a little bit more um enthusiastic if we can say like that enthusiastic but to do your part okay do the extra mile do not be just with the class and that's it right as soon as we finish the class you forget about english no you have to be with english 24 7 right 24 7 you need to be thinking in english speaking in english um learning english writing english even though you don't have uh, anyone or no one to be, you know, practicing. So you can do it by your own, okay? I remember that me, uh, in my case, when I was learning English, I didn't have anyone or someone to, you know, practice the language. So I remember that what I did is I was like talking by myself in English and that helps a lot, okay? So, Obviously, you will be talking to you in your mind, right? Porque imagínense que vaya usted en el bus hablando solo y en inglés la gente va a decir que usted está loco. O sea, no. So you have to be like, be able to talk in English to yourself. So I remember, and that's true, okay? Believe it or not, aunque le dé risa, es verdad. <laughs> yo iba, digamos, donde fuera. O sea, yo todo me lo decía en mi mente para que la gente no dijera que estaba, right? So, pero I, I was like thinking, okay? So yo iba diciendo las cosas, haciendo las acciones como por ejemplo, ah, voy a comer tamales, un ejemplo X, right? So, in English, so in your mind, hey, I'm going to eat tamales, right? They are delicious, okay? So, ¿cuánto valen los tamales? How much are they? de tamales, right? So, usted haga ese juego mental, usted solito. Ahora, si usted tiene alguien con quien eh, platicar, con quien practicar, fenomenal, pero si no, hágalo usted solo, right? So, but do it, be thinking in English. If not, so you are going to stop. Va a ir aprendiendo, pero un paso más eh, lento, ¿ok? So um, let me open right here the file. It's already open, but it's loading. So about the attendance, and I don't know if you would like to see the the score for the for the attendance. Ayer lo mencionamos, pero no sé si quieren ver si ha cambiado por la asistencia del día de ayer. Okay, so I was, that, that would be no. No quieren saber cómo van. Sí, teacher. Okay, okay, nice. So I'm going to pass the attendance first and then we will see the, the, the score, right? So please um, let me know if you are here. Ada Veronica. Present, present teacher. Okay, just give me one moment, que esta cuestión. No me deja escribir, tengo que volver a ingresar my email. Just give me one moment, just give me one moment right here. Que esta cuestión no, no deja. Ahora sí, vamos a ver. Listado de 8 9.
Okay, Alexandra Jamilet. Sandra, no. Uh, let's see, then we have Alexis Giovanni. Present teacher. Nice, Alexis. Um, Alicia Perez. Present teacher. Nice. Ana Maricela. Nice. Brenda Claribel. It's me, teacher. Nice. Uh, Byron Giovanni. Good evening. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Um, Carlos Antonio. Present, teacher. Nice. Cecilio Antonio. Present, miss. Nice. Um, Jacqueline Vanessa. Present, miss. Nice. Uh, Jennifer Arevalo. I'm here. Nice. Uh, I try to add your second name and your second last name, Jennifer, please. Because it's just one name and one last name in the app. Um, <coughs> let's see, Jose Alejandro. Uh, Juan Antonio. Catherine Andreina. Present teacher. Nice. Catherine Giselle. Present teacher. Nice. Kevin Alexander. Kevin, no. Eh, Lenin Hernandez. Present teacher. Nice. Leticia Judith. Mm. Nice. Luis Alfredo. Nice. Eh, Maria Magdalena. Present teacher. Nice. Martín de Jesús. Present. Nice. Miguel Antonio. Present. Yes, Nice, Nelson Eduardo. Let's see, no es aquí. My goodness, uh, Luis, ahí su creo que su micrófono es. No es aquí. No es aquí, no. Eh, Norma Lisset. Norma Lisset, no. Eh, let's see, um, Olivia Rachel. Present. Nice. Um, Oscar Alexander. I'm here, teacher. Saira Idalia. Saira Idalia, no. Um, let's see, Silvia está. Here. Okay, miss. So let me see the, the, the score, right? So this is what we have since the very first dates to, let's see, yesterday, right? So let's see. Um, Ya imagen verde, qué bueno. Let's see. Ada Verónica, 76-77. Con la conexión de ahora está en 80 y arriba aún más. Eh, Alexandra Yamilet, 63-65. Eh, Alexis Giovanni, 62.71. Alicia Pérez, 66.35. Ana Maricela, 80-21. Let's see, Brenda Claribel, 81.23. Byron Giovanni, 86.98. Carlos Antonio, 75.21. Eh, Cecilio Antonio, 85.63. Jacqueline Vanessa, 77.81. Jennifer Arevalo, eh, 79.69. Eh, Juan Antonio, 86.67. Catherine Andreina, 84.06. Catherine Giselle, eh, 78.54. Kevin Alexander, 73.02. 
Lenin Hernández, 71.25. Leticia Judith, 85.63. Luis Alfredo, 83.23. Eh, María Magdalena, 87.08. Martín de Jesús, 81.86. Miguel Antonio, 76.88. Nelson Eduardo, 61.67. Noé Ezequiel, 75.52. Norma Lisset, 83.85. Eh, Olivia Rachel, 86.46. Eh, Oscar Alexander, 79.17. Zaira Idalia, 77.29. Eh, M. Silvia Esther, 77.40. Ok, so <coughs> those are the scores that we have. Remember that. Sorry, we have the attendance uh, until yesterday, right? Ahí está hasta el día de ayer. El tiempo que usted haga ahora, eso es adicional, ¿ok? Pero si escuchan, ya la mayoría está eh, arriba de un 80, o sea, varios ahí están, están arriba de un 80. Y eh, otros, pues, el día, de, el día de ahora, ¿ok? El día de ahora prácticamente están llegando al 80%. No sé si estamos bien. Creería yo que sí. ¿Alguna duda? Eh, Miss, yo no le pude responder cuando me mencionó, pero aquí estoy. Uh, you are... Taira Oviedo. Ok, ahorita vamos a mirar. Está... Si no le había puesto. Bien. Okay. So don't worry about the attendance, right? You know that we are going to uh, validate the attendance one more time at the end. So uh, let me share the screen really quick. And we are going to continue where we stop, okay? So, eh, los que están como en el 70, arriba del 75, prácticamente si ahora está conectado, pues ya llega al 80, ok. So, um, los que he mencionado y están como en 60 o abajo, o 61, 62, eh, conéctese. Si está conectado ahora y se conecta mañana, pues va a ganar ahí un par de minutos. Que, que, que son válidos, right? So, trate de no faltar, trate de conectarse para evitar el, el, um, el no llegar o, o casi llegar, pero no llegar al 80. O sea, tiene que usted tratar de. Ok. So, uh, no more questions. Oh. Ok. So we are going to see right here, fashion on the street, right? So we have um, details right here about clothes, right? In the public height, okay? It says uh, bottom down shirt, belt, slacks. You know what is, what is the meaning of slacks? Did you get the idea of slacks? I'm sorry. Hands. The no. slaps. So in Spanish, what is the meaning of these ones? Pantalones. Yeah, but they are not jeans, right? So they are like casual, formal. Oh, uh, the that's the way we say it, right? So the, los que son de tela le decimos de vestir, right? <clears throat> okay, so then it says uh, dress shoes. So dress shoes, um, they are like casual, right? Like formal, you know, the, the ones that we use for this type of clothes, right? So usted anda vestido formal, no se va a poner... Um, 
tenis, right? Sí se puede, vaya, hay gente que lo hace, pero as soon as you are in a formal way, so you try to match, right? You try to match your clothes with your accessories and also with the type of shoes, right? So this is a classic uh, way, of, way of wearing. So then we have the cool and casual. So we have a jacket, we have a uh, sweater, we have cargo pants and tennis shoes, okay? So <coughs> this one's a cargo pants. So son esos como de bolsa, como se ve acá, right? So como <coughs> un pantalón así un tanto informal, casual, verdad? No, no formal. Uh, and uh, the last one, it's a funky, okay? This is a, a style, right? So they have a t-shirt. Pours, uh, plain, scare, uh, strip, tights. You know which ones are the tights? Medias. Medias, right? The medias, right? So the, the, the tights are medias. And strip, a strip it right here. This says strip. Did you get the idea of this one? This is a funky style. Kind of weird, right? Algo extraño, weird. So this one song, medias rayadas, falda cuadriculada, decimos nosotros, right? So cuadriculado, rayado. So that is the, that is the, the, the style, right? So uh, we are going to continue with the conversation. Which one is she? Okay, so look at the picture. This is a conversation between Liz and Raul. Okay, so let's see. It says right here. Hi, Raul. Uh, good to see you. Where is Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, uh, why uh, you don't go and talk to Julie? Oh, Julia, right? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is a she? It's the woman wearing glasses over there. Uh, no, she's uh, the tall one in jeans. Um, she's uh, standing near the window. Oh, I would like to meet her. Okay, so this one right here is the picture, right? So do we have new words right here? Do, do we get the idea, the meaning of the conversation? Él le pregunta sobre Julia, entonces él le dice que eh, ella está sola eh, porque no conoce a nadie. Sorry. <coughs> yeah, definitely. Silvia, Esther, that's the way, right? So they are like in a party or I don't know, they are in a public place, right? And at the beginning, the conversation starts asking for Maggie, right? So that's another person, okay? And the expression from Raul right here, when we say, oh, she couldn't make it. So what did you get? Can you understand what? With that expression, with that expression that says, she couldn't make it. Ella no está ahí. No pudo venir. There you go, uh -huh. like Marisela, you say, no pudo venir, no pudo lograrlo. Si yo traduzco así como un tanto literal, she couldn't make it, uh, no lo logró, no pudo lograrlo, okay? Why? Because she went to a concert with Alex, so probably she haven't sleep, right? So, por eso no llegó, okay? Porque viene primero Liz y le pregunta por Maggie, right? Le dice, no, ella no, no pudo venir, right? So, ella fue a un concierto con Alex y ahí queda, pero probably she was, you know, drinking, probably she was uh, doing like a party as soon as they were in the concert. And so, uh, that's why she's not in that, in that meeting. So, let's see, why don't you go and talk to Julie? Okay, viene ella y le dice, mira, pero ha venido Julie, why you don't talk with her? Entonces, Why? Because she doesn't know anyone in that place. So at the end it says, uh, Raul, Julia, which one is she? So we have many ladies there in the pictures, right? So which one is Julie? Ah, Julie 
Um, it's the woman wearing glasses over there. So who is wearing glasses right here? Ah, oh, she's wearing glasses, right? So it says, um, no, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. So the, the, the lady, it's this one, okay? It's the tall one. And uh, she is standing next to um, her window, okay? Next to her window. Uh, what else? Also, she's wearing jeans. So, ahí está, right? So, this is the conversation about at the end. They say, okay, thank you, I will, okay? So, let's see. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Did you remember the prepositions, right? So, we are clear that every time that we are saying something or describing something and we want to uh, mention position of something, we are going to use the prepositions, okay? In, on, at, uh, next to, between, with, in, uh, behind, in front, and so on and so on. So these ones are modifiers. It says, who's Raul? It's the man. Which one It's Raul? Uh, it's the one talking to Liz. Okay, and in the first one, uh, who's Raul? So it's the man wearing a green shirt, okay? So who's Liz? Oh, she's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Yuli? Uh, she's the tall one in jeans. Uh, who are the Smiths? They are people next to the uh, window. Which ones are the Smiths? They are the ones on the coach. So we can see the, the picture right here. So they too. Uh -huh. So let's see, modifiers, okay? So look, we have like two answers, right? So we have the question and we have like, like two answers, okay? But they are not really like a complete and full answer, but let's see, they are correct, okay? So who's Raul? Como que yo le estoy preguntando, ¿quién es? Ah, okay, es el hombre que vaya, right? So you are answering the question and it's good, but when we want to say that, that answer with the articles or with the participles or preposition is when we switch, right? So we can say, oh, uh, the man wearing a green scare that is talking with Liz, so that is the that is Raul. Okay, we can add a little bit more. So uh, let's see which ones are these meets. They are the ones on the coach, right? So my best advice right here is you know um, keeping my the structure, right? Seguir la estructura porque acá sea otro tema, la estructura gramatical no cambia, o sea, eso se mantiene siempre. Entonces ahí usted. Eh, puede verificar, puede comparar estas eh, sentences, questions that we have with another book or with other examples that you can uh, search and investigate, but they are exactly the same. The only thing about this modifier is that you can answer in different ways. So the same story in Spanish, right? Usted no sé si alguna vez le ha pasado que usted explica o dice algo y, y la persona dice que no te entiendo. No te entendí. So, ¿qué hace usted normalmente? Volverle a decir, pero tal vez usa otras palabras para que la otra persona entienda. So, the same story right here with the modifier. So, we have exactly the same, but we have different uh, ways to answer, right? One that is like with a participle or with a preposition, but they are very simple, right? Let's see. <coughs> Sorry. Let's see if we can complete this exercise. It says, rewrite, rewrite these statements using modifiers with uh, participles and prepositions. Let's see if I can take a screenshot right here. And I'm going to send it into the, um, into the WhatsApp group, okay? So, ¿qué vamos a hacer? A reescribir estas oraciones usando los modificativos, los part participios, y las preposiciones, right? Number one is the example. It says, Clark is the tall guy. He's wearing a bottom-down shirt. 
and cargo pants, ok? So, mire acá, es la que nos presenta. Yo la voy a reescribir, a modificar. Carl is the tall guy wearing a button-down shirt and cargo pants. So, look, in the first one, de la que ya nos dan, hay, como, hay dos oraciones. O sea, hay un punto que separa como una oración de la otra. Y acá... Ya cuando yo la convierto, eh, ya no, ya no necesito. O sea, yo uno las dos oraciones prácticamente en una. Claire is the tall guy wearing a bottom down shirt, scare, I'm sorry, and cargo pants. <coughs> sorry. So, I don't know if we are clear with the instruction. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Yep, no. Lo vamos a reescribir, ¿verdad? Sí, usted va a reescribir, o sea, ahí hay como dos oraciones, usted la tiene que hacer una sola, modificando obviamente con una preposición o una, uh, un modifier, hay right? algo que lo modifique, pero que al final mantenga el significado y la idea de, de lo que se está hablando o escribiendo, right? So we are going to create just Three groups, ok, porque sé que algunos están ahí solo de oyentes. Eh, voy a hacer tres grupos nada más, ok. I will give you four minutes and then we come back and we will see the answers together, ok. So let's do it right now, please.
Hola, Ada Verónica se salió, ¿verdad? Sí, yo aquí estoy si... esperando. Aquí Quiero estoy ver esperando. si la voy a volver a mover. Okay, uh, welcome back. 
So, creo que algunos ahí no, me fui al otro grupo, no habían terminado. But anyway, right? So, vamos a ver cómo nos resulta acá porque time is running so fast. Déjame compartir. Ahí va a cerrar esto. So, let's see. So, the idea right here is just get, uh, put everything together, right? That like, Instead of have like separate sentence, we need to have one, okay? So let's see. Um, Byron Giovanni, try to read the number two, read the original one and how you put it together, okay? So go ahead, Byron Giovanni. Okay, okay, no problem, uh, Byron Giovanni. So let's see, um, Silvia is there. So try to do it, please. Okay, the number two is Adam and Luis are the good looking couple talking to Tom. Mm -hmm. And we'll, I will continue. Okay. Three, four, and five, I'm sorry. No? One more time. So you, de una vez lo leyó. Go ahead. Léala una vez más, please. How you put it like together in one sentence. Number two. Yeah, right. number two. Right. One more time. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, I will read and also I, I voy a decir con la respuesta modificada, ¿verdad? Okay, please, yeah, go ahead. Okay, the number two is Adam and Luis are the good looking couple. They're talking to Tom and uh, the proposal is Adam and Luis are the good looking couple talking to Tom. Perfect, okay, so the idea is just keep the one idea, right? So instead of be because aquí lo que usted tiene que entender es que esto está redundante. Así dice uno en español. O sea, ya dije yo, mira, um, Sofía y Adam, como sea el nombre, right? La, esa pareja bien parecida, ok, que está ahí. Ellos están, o sea, el, ellos, right, they are. So, está redundante. Básicamente lo que usted hace es omitir el siguiente sujeto. Y nada más poner la idea, right? So la pareja, ellos, la pareja vi que está ahí, que es bien parecida, es hablando con fulano, right? So, nice. Um, let's see, the number three, Ana Marisela, please. Um, say, Lynn is a young girl. She's in a street t-shirt and blue jeans. And when I'm going to rewrite, Tim is a young girl wearing a street t-shirt and blue jeans. Very nice. So, Lini, it's the young girl. Okay. Wearing can be, okay. Wearing a strip t-shirt and blue, ¿qué dice? Blue jeans. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's see the last one. I'm sorry, number four. It's not the last one. So, Jennifer Arevalo. Number four, please. Um, eh, lo leo. Yeah, read, it, read it the way it is right here and also the, the way that you fix it, right? Okay. Jessica is the attractive woman. It's tiny to the left of Antonio. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, sorry, I estaba en mute yo. So, aha, uh -huh. Jessica, it's the attractive woman sitting to the left of Antonio, okay? Nice. And the last one, Martin, can you do the last one? AJ is the serious looking boy. He's listening to his new salsa CD. AJ is serious looking boy listening to his new salsa CD. Okay, very nice. Uh, 
AJ, right? It's the serious looking boy listening to his new salsa CD, okay? Nice. So I don't know if you get the idea. Esto no es algo así como tan importante, relevante. Aquí lo que interesa es que usted aprenda a formular la idea, los modifiers, como dice el tema, right? <coughs> Quitando lo, las palabras redundantes, así para que me entienda un poco más fácil. Eh, el sujeto no lo voy a mencionar dos veces. Yo ya dije José, ya no voy a decir si sí, él, right? So, como en español. So, that is the only thing that you keep, that you erase from the sentence, and then you keep exactly the same verb, right? No le tengo que cambiar la, la idea, okay? So, uh, because of the time, we are going to continue, okay? So, we are going to move on to the last section. And the last section says, have you ever ridden a camel? So, what is a camel? Camello. Okay, perfect. Okay, very nice. So, have you ever ever ride a camel? Imagine. Mm -hmm. I don't think so, right? So, <coughs> um, let me see right here. So, we have the snack, right? So, it says a uh, guide to entertainment. Okay, so, deje ver si hago esto más. Go, a guide to entertainment. This is a fun themes to do. Okay, so based on the US, right? This is a um, book from the US, so based on US people. Okay, uh, number one right here it says, seen in a karaoke bar, uh, go to a internet cafe. So that probably was uh, years ago, right? Nowadays it's not an entertainment anymore. So try uh, mountain biking, go ice skating and see a live concert. So yeah, probably these ones are like fan activities or themes that we can do uh, to entertain ourselves, right? So let's see, uh, we have this conversation that says, I visit to New Orleans. So New Orleans is a city, right? Uh, on the US, right? It says uh, jam and tov. It says, uh, it's great to see you, Todd. Have you ever been in New Orleans, Slum? Uh, just a few dates. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you this city. Have you ever been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I have already been to one. Oh, well, how about um, Riverboat Tour? Um, I have already done that too. Have you ever ride a, a street tier? They are a lot of fan. Actually, the, let's see, actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me, okay? So basically, um, she's like trying to mention different activities, right? For this guy that is visiting the city, right? To do during the time that he's, you know, living or traveling or staying there. But at the end, Everything he it's already done, right? So he already did the activities and he preferred just to be, you know, sitting because he it's right, really tired because at the end says my feel my feet are killing me. Me están matando los pies, right? Las patas, dice usted, right? Cuando ya está así cansado, you know, dice ya no aguanta, right? So do we have new words right here? No. ¿Se entiende la conversación? ¿Habrá alguna palabra? Pues básicamente eh, Jane acaba de llegar, entonces que también está emocionado por ver a Todd y que eh, él como que le va en, bueno, él también está emocionado de estar ahí uh -huh. y que eh, eh, no, 
no puede esperar por mostrarle la ciudad. Entonces ya, ya le empieza a preguntar que si ha ido a algún jazz club, a un club de jazz. Uh -huh. Y así como que le va, a va, le va a mostrar la ciudad. Perfect. Ok, so that's the idea, right? So she said, now that you are here, that you are, you know, spending time. So why don't we do this, this and this? And at the end, it's like, I have, your, I have already done, right? So nice, uh, Esther. Now look, are you able to identify right here um, um, structure grammar part right here? Que tiempo gramatical estamos empleando en esta conversación? No es futuro, no es presente, no es verbo to be. ¿Qué tiempo es? Acá en esta, en esta pregunta lo puede ver. Eh, have you ever been in New Orleans long? Present perfect. There you go. There you go, eh, Magdalena. Present perfect. Okay. Present perfect. Have you ever been? Okay. Alguna vez has estado en Nuevo Orleans por mucho tiempo? So, el had been es como pasado, pero sin final. Okay, that is the present perfect that we are about to see, okay? So the present perfect. Now, something important right here is the, the past participle of the verb, right? The participle of the verb because we will need it, okay? So we will need to uh, convert or transfer the, the verb in case if we need it, right? To use these terms. So it says right here, um, he answered also, I'm, I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you your, the city. Let me say, have you been? Alguna vez has estado? Sería la traducción, verdad? Alguna vez has estado en un club de jazz? Y vea la respuesta, la misma historia que siempre le digo. Usted le preguntan con un tiempo, va a responder con es. Mire la respuesta de él. Yeah, I already been to one, ¿ok? Yo ya he estado en uno, ¿ok? Esa sería como la traducción del tiempo perfecto, right? Yo ya he vivido, yo ya he probado, yo ya he trabajado, yo ya he visitado. Nosotros ya hemos estado. So that means that it's in the past, but it still can affect in the future and we don't know when it's going to end. Por ejemplo, usted me puede decir en español, mire, eh, Miss, yo he estado estudiando inglés por varios años y mire, todavía está estudiando y no sabe hasta cuándo va a dejar de estudiar. O sea, es algo incierto en el futuro, pero no me, no me va a decir usted, mire, yo hasta ahorita Estoy empezando. No, usted ya lleva un proceso, right? Yo he estado, ese yo he vivido, dice uno. Yo he vivido aquí por 40 años. O ese, ese eh, verbo en español, ¿cómo es que le dicen a este verbo? No es el gerundio, sino que esa, esa terminación ando, endo, indo en, en español tiene un tiempo gramatical que no recuerdo. Es un pretérito, no sé qué. Algo así se llama en español, right? So. Pretérito imperfecto. That I guess, Miguel, pretérito imperfecto. En español es una locura de tiempos gramaticales. En inglés somos poquitos. Ok. So, pero esa terminación ando, endo, yendo. So, eso es lo que. Eh, nosotros traducimos en el present perfect, right? So, um, let's see. We have the present perfect right here. We have already and yet. So, um, we are not going to see everything, okay? Because of the time, but at least we can at least read the examples, okay? So, let's see. Um, Luis Alfredo, I don't know if you can help us. Read the, the questions right here, please. A positive and negative answer, please. 
The present perfect is formed with the verb how plus the past particip participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's riding in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has color home largely? Yes, his color twist this week. No, he has she hasn't color in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Only this on the contraction, teacher. Okay, thank you, Luis. Appreciate okay. it. Okay, so look, okay. Uh, we are going to continue with this tomorrow. Okay, but what is important right here is see the instruction. Did you see the bold letters? Bold letters, las negritas, right? Bold letters. Okay, so. Pay close attention to the bold letters because we have right here, they have, that is a verb, but in this case is working as an auxiliary and the famous being. ¿Qué es being? ¿Quién se acuerda? Los que han estudiado los verbos. Ser o estar. No, that is in present. Is ando o endo. There you go, ajá, uh -huh. there you go, ando, endo. Ok, so, este es el, 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 en la línea de los verbos, usted tiene la forma base, el pasado y el participio, ok. Entonces, aquí, mire, estos bold letters, estos negritos verbos, mire, todos están en el participio. Quiere decir que si usted me quiere hablar haciendo uso del presente perfecto, usted debe de tener los verbos. Porque aquí no me puede decir, have you... Eh, is. No, no, no se puede. O sea, la estructura gramatical es esta. El auxiliar, si es tercera persona, has. Mire, tercera persona es has, pero de ahí todos los sujetos have. Have you, have they eaten dinner yet? ¿Habrán comido o cenado, tomado su cena aún? Right? So, Esto es lo que usted debe de tener en mente. Y ya el tiempo se me va y tengo que verificar el attendance. Ok. So, I'm going to stop sharing right here and I need to validate the attendance um, really quick. Eh, Confírmeme nada más aquí si está Alexandra Yamilet. José Alejandro, no. Eh, Kevin Alexander, me pareció ver que estaba Kevin. Present. Okay, nice, Kevin. Thank you. Uh, push, le puse doble asistencia. It's just one. And um, that's it. Okay, solo se queda entonces Alexandra Jamilet sin asistencia. So then the rest you do have it, okay? So please uh, do not forget to be in classes tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day. Mañana este, vamos a tomar la foto de recuerdo. Así que ahí. Se, se peina mañana, se hace ahí el, los colochos y si es colocho se, se lo, ya se lo hace liso, ok, para que salga ahí en la foto de recuerdo, mañana hay que bañarse, mañana hay que peinarse <risa> para la foto, ok, ahí vamos a tomar la foto, vaya considerando que va a tener que poner la cámara, si no lo vamos a hacer dibujado como un sticker, ok, so, uh, bye bye, time is over, see you tomorrow, ok, good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, bye. bye, -bye. Good night.